he buys that. Hello and welcome to Car Throttle. My name is Alex. I'm Jack. I'm Ethan. And today we're doing a Car Throttle special. We're settling an argument we had the other day. Because I'm done with these bikes. Are you? Yeah. I haven't even started with the bikes yet. <laughs> now I love bikes. I use them a lot. I've got a Honda CBR 650R. And what we're going to do is we're going to race to the Lake District. Mm -hmm. The person who gets there last has to go for a dip mm. in the lake. Oldswater Lake, is it? Yeah. The time is now half past nine. So you guys skedaddle. And oh, we can just go, can't we? You can just go. Can just go. Uh, I'm going to lock the house and then I'm going to mosey on. Oh, head start. No, go for it. <laughs> All right. See you boys. Bye bye. Good luck. Good luck. No, you need good luck. No, you need good luck. You're already going the wrong Have way. You no. Have you got your towel? Yes. No. You're going the wrong way. It's that way. <laughs> oh, look, they're running already. That's cute. <laughs> How's your fitness these days? My fitness? Yeah. <laughs> Anyone who's a biker, I will not let these idiots beat me. So to recap, I'll be racing Wonder Woman and Robin 300 cold miles on two wheels in a journey that will see me tackle the A40, M40, M42, M6 Toll, M6 and B roads en route to our finish line at the picturesque Aero Force Waterfall Bridge. I'll likely need to stop a few times for fuel and food, but even with these delays, the race is as good as one. Jack and I, meanwhile, will rely on public transport to take us from Alex's house in West London all the way through to the city centre, where we'll take two fast trains up to Penrith before our final leg, a 10 mile taxi ride to victory. What could go wrong? Oh no, that's uh... Ages. I know. Much nicer like being on a bus than a bike. Oh yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, we just chill out. But I mean, we don't like bikes, that's why. Yeah, true, but I don't think he likes bikes either. I cannot tell you how much I'm loving this bike. It's so much fun. So yeah, we've got walk, bus, tube, tube, train, train, cab. Gonna go on the A40. I have got four hours and 46 minutes left to go. I'm not going in that water today, I promise you that. I'm not going in that lake. Would you rather be sat here right now, or on the M40 weaving through traffic? Right here, on this bus. <laughs> right then, come on Honda. Let's show them. Try the man. Mm, not a good start. Thank you. Thanks. Right. Ooh, it was 80 pounds each. From a monetary point of view, we're definitely losing that one. Why? Right, what's it going to cost him? I don't know, like three quid. Okay, we just missed that one. We didn't have a clue. Look, I'm sorry. Would you rather be sat on this, the whole carriage to yourself? Or would you rather be sat like that, with some metal between your legs, doing like 70 miles an hour, cold? It's quite an argument. Actually, not really, because despite being a sports bike, the CBR is surprisingly comfortable, with a screen to help keep the wind away and heated grips keeping my hands warm. There we go, knock it into sixth gear, save a bit of fuel. Come on, baby. I will not be beaten. Meanwhile, on the central line, my confidence in this race was beginning to waver. Joe, I'm not 100% sure we're on the right train. What? I'm not. Are you serious? Yeah. It was like 55%, now it's like 45%. The odds are not in our favor. With Ethan and Jack still heading east into London, I'd arrived at Beaconsfield Services, already putting me 15 miles in the lead. I'm having to stop for fuel. I've got two bars on the tank. Let's make this nice and quick. No messing about. I'll have to eat later. Take a big mouthful, Honda. Quickly run in and pay. Back in commuter land, we've made it to Oxford Circus, meaning a quick dash for our second tube to Euston. Obviously, one benefit of the 
train. You can sit down and eat. You can't do that on a bike. So here's one I bought earlier. What was Alex going to be having? A place full of wind. <laughs> Some flies. Actually, and despite not having eaten, I was making strong progress and feeling in good shape. Speaking of good shape... So we've actually done all the hard part, getting across London. Now we've got a train to Preston, or a train to Preston, change at Preston, train to Penrith, then we've got a cab for the last 10 miles. There is a bus, but that, that's not happening. We've already done one bus, that's enough. Yeah. So I'm going to eat this. Uh, now you can go and watch Alex have some fun on a bike. That wind, oh, that wind is really starting to cut through my jacket. I can feel my breasts are starting to get kissed by the cold. The cold of the north. Meanwhile, back on the train. Oh, hi. We obviously don't know where we are in respect of each other. Um, but I'm in contact with the support car. Do you think if I text them saying we've missed our train that they would believe it? Also tell Alex this and then that might force him to slow down a bit. Oh, I might, yeah, I might slow him up a bit. Is that poor form? That's foul play, yeah. Yeah. Do it. That's that. That's a bit shitty of you. Yeah. Of us. I'm over it. Yeah, same. He would have done exactly the same thing. Oh, 100%. To give you a bit of an update, we are just over two hours in. We are sort of between Milton Keynes and Northampton. He def definitely would have stopped then. Um, so I think he's going to be around Birmingham. It's not great, um, but we are catching. I am freezing. Uh, also need some fuel, but the first thing I need to do is warm up, have some food. I haven't even had breakfast yet. I've no idea where the guys are. Oh, Jesus. Oh, and I need a wee. Can't even think straight. Hello. Hello. <laughs> where are you? We've just left Euston. You want to know where I am? Yeah, where are you? I'm north of Birmingham. What? He's north of Birmingham? Yeah. The other worrying thing for us is that we might not make our connections. Oh, that is a worry, because isn't it? Because of this delay, yeah. Ah, so the whole public transport being better than motorbikes, how's that going for you? It is going well. It's going really well. I'm enjoying it. I'm going to go inside yeah. and maybe just have a little relax. That's not really, I'm, I'm really happy for you, actually, yeah. You just have a really enjoyable journey. Yeah, and you, you enjoy the great British <laughs> public transport. You ride safe now. Bye-bye. Uh, bye-bye. OK. Bye-bye. 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 Oh, so that's interesting. Public transport is not being kind to Ethan. Ooh. Did he buy that? We are sort of by rugby, so just right of Coventry, which is sort of South Birmingham. So by the time he leaves, we should be ahead. But this could be really close if he, bu if he buys that. My leisurely lunch break finally behind me, it was another quick stop at the pump, ahead of more motorway miles that were getting progressively colder the further north up I was travelling. I do feel better just having eaten, but that cold is really eating me alive. On the train, we too were struggling, to stay awake that is. We are now three hours in. We've got about two hours left. I've just been doing some editing of our podcast. 
If you haven't watched or listened to our podcast, you can watch it on our YouTube channel or Spotify or Apple. It's good, isn't it? Yeah. It might be rubbish. I've got no clue where Alex is. He sent me <laughs> he sent me a picture about half an hour ago. I think he thinks we're really behind. So he sent me a picture of him in McDonald's. He looks happy about it. He looks so happy, isn't he? He looks like a chicken nugget. <laughs> I don't know how this is going to go. I know how it's going to go. It's going to end with us in that f***ing lake. With Jack's confidence in public transport at an all-time low, I was now well over halfway through my journey but having to stop to pay the M6 toll. With that out of the way, it's time to open the throttle to make up for lost time. worst my day gets is I have to go in a lake for 10 seconds. The worst thing for him is he's in a five hour bright bike ride in the cold and then might have to get in. The advantage he has is he has control. We're at the mercy of national rail. So we're going to be in Preston in 20 minutes. We've got that train, then we've got our taxi which is booked. Hopefully, he'll just be there waiting. Bang, straight in. Mate, can you 80 to the lake, please? I'm cold, and I really don't want to go in the lake, so I've temporarily suspended speed limits. God, I really hope that they've been delayed or mugged or something. If they got mugged, actually, that would really, really delay them. Unfortunately for Alex, neither of these things had happened. In fact, our journey was running like clockwork, and now at Preston, all we had to do was sit and wait for the next train. This is the last proper public transport. We've got a cab after this. Yeah, no, I was cheating a little bit. Yeah, I know. Nah, cheating seems to be the name of the game of this. Well, <laughs> so we have now got a 48 minute train to Penrith. Penrith, we have about a 20 minute cab ride. I really do think this is gonna be close. Time for another fuel stop. This will be the last one now. Have a little drink, my baby. Showtime. Well, not quite, because I want to put my airbag jacket on. What a dickhead. Kill the time on this last stretch of our journey, we thought we'd give you some train facts, which sounds riveting. The least used stations in the UK are Denton and Stanlow and Thornton. Just 46 passengers bought tickets to board stations at both stations last year. 46. Can you imagine working at one of them stations? The longest UK train station name goes to the extremely hard to pronounce. Does this begin with an L? Lanfair Puagoyan. Lanfair Pu. I can't get past that. My brain can't understand why they put all these P's, W's, and L's together and what noise it's supposed to make. Maybe we'll flash up a Welsh person saying it now. Yeah, please. Sambar, Puswingish, or Geris, Wurden, Robos, Sandesil, or Gogogoch. Some of the three letter contenders are of shortest station names are Ash, Rye, and Ely. And that is Train Facts. Uh, probably the highlight of this entire video. For more Train Facts, click the little X in the top 
right or left of your window. Yeah. Also, thank you to Daniel Panico for the facts. Meanwhile, back on the bike, I had an hour remaining on my sat-nav and wasn't sparing the horses. With both teams now approaching the Lake District and fast, we knew that this race would go down to the wire. This is our taxi ride. It was just waiting for us. It came off, it was, it was brilliant. So, Toyota Aventis, don't say we don't give you cars. That now says I've got 20 minutes to go. For about 20 minutes, we'll know. I really don't want to go in the lake. Jesus Christ! I've got a whole herd of sheep in front of me. This is not good. Thank you, buddy. Cheers, bye bye. Oh, God, slippy. Am I here? I can hear the waterfall. I see the bridge. It must be the bridge. Honestly, if Jack and Ethan are here, I'll be absolutely amazed. No way we're here. No! I'm not happy with that. I just, <laughs> I cannot believe it. <laughs> Genuinely, I was so confident. I even had a chat with a, with a taxi driver up there. Up there? Yeah. The one that dropped us off? Did he recognise you? He recognised me and I said, you haven't just dropped Ethan and Jack off. He said, no, I'm here waiting for two Japanese people. Yes! You, that you f me, you lied to me. <laughs> How long have you been here? About 20 minutes. 20 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> one all? One all, yeah, one yeah. I'm really sorry. Genuinely disappointed. So the moral of the story <laughs> is <laughs> motorbikes are better and fast. No, no, no that's no. I've been practicing that one yeah, for yeah, so yeah. long. Hey, you mean rehearsing it on the way up? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> motorbikes always win, blah blah blah. Everyone who rides a motorbike, I'm so sorry. And for all you commuters out there, you. I did it for you! <laughs> you did it for the commuters! <laughs> you can good work though. I mean you look do I? Your eyes are... Really? Yeah. Oh! Yeah. Excellent. I don't wake you up. What? Oh shit! I forgot about that! I forgot! <laughs> oh no! Oh no. I'm in the water. Yeah. Ah! And it's quite cold. I'm going to need to borrow your towel because I was so confident I didn't even bother bringing one. I don't think I brought mine. I think I left it at yours. Oh god, I've got to, I've got to get back on the motorbike after that. And then ride down. Oh my god. It's a really bad day for you. So everything went smoothly for you? Very smoothly. You li so you lied? Little bit. So the reason I stayed and ate my McDonald's <laughs> inside the services, I... I would have won. <laughs> you lied! Well... One all. I mean, if you're happy with that very shallow yeah, victory... I'm very happy. Very happy. Claim it. Very, okay. I uh, know, take it. Okay, thank no, you. No, 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 you, you keep that. You keep hold of that. Okay. I hope that keeps you warm. Oh, very warm actually, yeah. Is it warm? Were you warm on the ride up? No, not even a little, but we it were. has actually acclimatised myself to yeah, the fact yeah. that I'm going to be in yeah. a drink. I was in my t-shirt on the train. 
<laughs> well, yeah. yeah. It was too hot on there, wasn't it? Uh, I'll get this over and done with. Okay. Let's get you in there. We're here. I'm so happy. I'm so <laughs> glad we, we got there first. Cool. Well, it's all right. How you feeling? You look great. I don't know. Got your flippers on. <laughs> oh, oh, but the ground's even cold. Even the ground's <laughs> cold. Oh. oh, that is unpleasant. That's not nice. You've got to be fully submerged. Oh, how's the goose? Oh, the goosebumps are coming. <laughs> what are you thinking? Are you going to go for a big run up? No, I'm not. I'm just going to go in slowly. Slowly? Well, that's what I would do. Put it off for as long as possible. I'm going to jump off that jetty and just get it done with. Oh! oh. oh. That's racing. <laughs> you should have ridden quicker. Oh, God. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> this, is, this is genuinely painful. I think, oh. Oh, it's not getting deep quickly, is no, it? No, it's not. You could just roll around there. I know, but shit. I just want to go. Oh, God, that's so cold. He's about, what, 20 yards out, and he's only up to his knees. <sighs> You've got a lot further to go. Oh, when it touches my penis, that's going to be so bad. This might kill him. <laughs> oh, penis! Ah, oh, you I'm just going to go in. Oh! Oh! oh he's, to he's toppling! <laughs> he's toppling! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh! 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 Fair play. Oh yeah, that'll do it. <laughs> oh, my face hurts. Just genuinely not put on. This is really, really horrible. Are we happy? Everyone satisfied? Right. Yeah. Do you want to go for a swim? I mean, I just said he had to get his head under. No, he's not. Oh, look at him. Oh, oh. oh, he's laying down. Oh, he's like a beach whale. He's like a seal pup. <laughs> bad idea. Really bad idea. That was stupid. I don't think he knows what to do with himself. I think he's shutting down. <laughs> <laughs> Alex, what's two plus two? I'm all splattered. Oh. Right, I think he's lost it. Oh, oh, look at the redness. Oh. Oh. Better? Oh. I'm really impressed. Yeah? You went for more. I did. Yeah. Because I thought it was a good idea because I was acclimatised, but I realised it was a very bad idea. <laughs> anyway, beer and shower. Let's go do it. Get this. warm. Let's get you warm. Come on. Look at this, mate. Oh. Oh. Move down. Yeah, come on. Good night, all. <laughs> With hours of motorway and a lost race behind me, I made damn sure that the next day would be a success. And that for me meant ditching Ethan and Jack and making the most of the CBR 650R on the lake's sweeping roads. Right, so I'm not a seasoned biker. I've only been on a bike for about a year, but I thought I'd give my impressions of this, the Honda CBR 650R. We've got 94 horsepower, we've got 47 pound foot of torque, and that gives this 207 kilogram motorbike a top speed of 135 miles an hour. Mid range torque is, I mean, it's really good. You're on a motorbike, aren't you? It is quick. <laughs> and you know what? Riding it yesterday, 300 miles. I got off it and I didn't feel like shit. I, I was expecting to feel disgusting. This is a kind of middleweight sports bike, remember? So you are sitting fairly leaned over, but my wrists are okay, my neck's okay. For me, currently, this is the perfect motorbike. Ah, oh, it's wicked. I really, really like this bike. It's great for commuting, but it feels light, it feels nimble. It inspires you to just push a little harder every single corner, lean over, make the most of amazing roads. And 100%, hand on my heart, the CBR650R is a motorbike that I would actually 
buy it, I would buy it outright. You can overtake, traffic is never a thing. And the best part about owning a motorbike or riding a motorbike is that you don't need to get on public transport. Now, okay, I lost the race, but I had a lot more fun. Plus, I think I only spent about 20 quid on fuel. They spent 80 pounds each, one way. And for anyone out there who's umming and ahhing about getting a motorbike license, if you like fast cars, you'll like motorbikes like this one. <laughs> Cracking bit of kit. For eight grand, nothing comes close. Plus, you get to save yourself a whole bunch of money on fuel bills, and you get to save so much time. Having a motorbike for me is a no-brainer because the freedom a motorbike offers you is just off the chart. You have fun on every single journey. The handling is fantastic. The way it makes you feel is great. Nothing comes close to riding a bike in my eyes. So there you go everybody, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching this very special episode of Car Throttle. If you have, then make sure you subscribe by clicking on this link, and don't forget to check out more awesome videos down there. Right Ethan, looks like you've got the biker bug now, so uh, take it away. <laughs>